2001 Acura Integra GSR. And visually, on the outside of the car, nothing would tell you that this car now has 170 horsepower. It doesn't tell you that it's got the VTEC. Of course, if you lift the hood, there it is. So this is kind of the high end of that generation of Integra. In fact, starting in 2002, the Acura became the RSX. So this is the last of the great Integras. But I asked the owner why he's kept this car completely stock. And he said it's to save the Integra name and keep it as intended as the engineers designed it. He wants to show off the way they really were. So this has almost 94,000 miles on it. This is not a garage queen and not a riced out car. And you know this car is just gonna keep going to 300 or 500,000 miles. No problem. VTECs are nearly bulletproof. You can just wind this car out. Listen to that. You can hear when it comes on. These bug-eyed Integras were kind of a love it or hate it proposition. What I love about the styling from the late 90s, early 2000s car are thin. Everything is thin. The A pillar, the B pillars here, everything just seems like you're in a fishbowl. Interior on this car is simple, but it's simple in a very usable way. There's single buttons for a lot of features, but it's just it's easy to read. These gauges are so reminiscent of everything Honda was doing at the time. These big, bold gauges with that very Honda font. To fit in here, I'm leaning back a little more than I would like, to be honest. I wish these seats were just a little more modern and aggressive, but I, that's not really a strike against it. They just aren't. Tiny little 1.8 liter engine with DTEC. And this engine, I love the linear power delivery. It just goes. This is definitely the kind of engine that you want to drive at the upper end of the range all the time because it's, it's just so much fun. It starts to whine and howl and just pretend like it's a little baby brother or maybe a distant cousin to the NSX. Yeah, there we go, there we go, all right. Yeah. It's not a straight line car, it's not gonna astound you with the speed. You get that nice VTEC changeover, that sounds cool. But it's not gonna be like, wow, this is an incredibly fast car. But it maintains its speed well and it rotates pretty well. You know, the other thing this car has going for it is it's just light. It's just super light and chuckable. It feels like the foundation for all the front wheel drive goodness that we know and love in modern cars. It definitely feels like the foundation for that. This doesn't have a quick frenetic feel like a modern hot hatch does. You combine the fact that it's a pretty slow steering rack and a fairly large diameter steering wheel. All of that makes it a little, I, I want it to be a little more connected and hardcore than it feels right now, but it does make it very easy to drive endearing and chuckable. That's what it is. I just want to throw this car around. It just works. That's what that's what's so great about these things. Nothing in here is hard to work with. The clutch is incredibly light. The gearbox is easy because Honda's always done that well. So there's a lot of steering angle required right there to pull that off. Yeah, all right. We'll fight our way out of these corners. You and me together. This is cool. I like that he hasn't riced it out. I like that he, he's just hanging on to it as it is because it's still fun, just like the engineers designed it from the factory. And for a lot of cars, I think that's just fine. Yes, Todd and I talk about modifications and we're doing that more with these Fast Blast reviews because that's the place for them. In comparisons to other cars, it can be such a, a point of contention because people say, well, all, if only you did this, these brakes and that muffler and that intake and, you know, on and on and on. It can be such an argument. But when you start to appreciate it, I, I feel like it's just simple, clean, uncluttered, and in that sense, kind of classic. This is cool because, you know, before Michael called us, I, I'd never driven one of these cars. And I'm really glad to get into these Integras. I mean, they're, they're legends in their own right. And so to have one that's this nice GSR, which is the one you want, with the more horsepower, and in this great stock form, I mean, that feels 
kind of like a find that he even has this car. So thanks, Michael. Thanks a lot for letting us drive this. I see why you like it. I see why it's stock. I like that, too. Squirrel.